but I really hope it would help you in giving you that kind of uber blick or overview so that you would be able to decide kung saan bang facility or saan bang station ka pwede mag work as a Filipino nurse dito sa Germany. Try lang tayo girl lang try kasi kaya natin yan! This is Odyssey for two and long time today. This is our vibe today. Look, it's autumn. Oh my god. I do the blend this kind of music, especially after work. I'm trying to slow down how my day was. So maybe that would help you too. I'm just not in a lie so that we can start our vlog. Oh, it's happy weekend. I think this will be enough. Yeah? Okay. Focus, focus. Um, Okay, so one, two, three, go. Hi everyone, this is Odyssey. Welcome back to my channel. Hello, it still feels so awkward but nagsasalita. Well, hello from Germany. Tara, your Etta girl is here. Char. Today we'll be talking about nursing routines in hospital. I did a poll survey in one of my posts in which I asked you kung bang mga topics yung gusto niyong i-discuss and most of you had um, answered nursing routines in hospital. If hindi mo gusto sa senior homes, pwede ka ding mag-apply sa hospital and it's a matter really of deciding kung saang station mo ba gusto mag-work. I don't want you to think na dahil wala ka ng hospital experience or dahil wala ka ng um, experience sa ganitong station, hindi ka pwedeng pumunta doon although yun yung gusto mong path na i-pursue. I don't want you to think that way, no? Kasi again, lahat ng skills pwede nating matunan basta Willing lang tayo talagang matuto and determinado tayong matuto. So, nursing routines. So, I asked some of the Filipinos that I know here, no, who had been longer than me, who has also been working in different stations sa hospital, para ma share namin sa inyo yung experience. How is it working as Filipino nurses dito sa hospital? So, the question that I asked them. So, this is the format that I asked them. What's their mean of gabe? What's a toxic day looks like for you? Why you like your work or what motivates you? And tips or messages for other Filipinos. So I'll be sharing yung iba na nagu work sa station. And also um, someone who is working in Central and OP. So if maybe if you're interested to be an operating room nurse rather than a ward or station nurse, you also have an option that here. Siyempre, mahirap lang talaga yung sprake. Yun naman talaga yung ano, eh, main challenge dito sa Germany. It's the language barrier because of Deutsch. Hindi kasi natin motor sprake. Hindi natin mother language si Deutsch. So, ang hirap. But, kaya. Kaya natin yan. Kahit mahirap, kakayanin natin. Kahit mahirap, itatry natin. Alright, this is from Jem. So, as an OR nurse, Jem is working as an OR nurse or operating nurse. English, English si, si girl. <laughs> A toxic day in the OR would be if there is an overlap of cases and lack of manpower on their besets again. For example, a case is still going pero meron ka ng unstable patient, kailangan ng emergency surgery, or meron ng heart or lung transplantation, etc. <laughs> there you would see us running around prepping sets, instruments, and the equipment that will be probably used. Some nurses or surgeons are doing resuscitation to that unstable patient while being transported in. Oh my god, akala ko scheduled lang yung mga operation. So it's similar to those medical dramas you watch, just minus the drama. Wala na mga. <laughs> and Gray's Anatomy. It's really chaotic, usually at the beginning, but intraoperative, it would just come down since nasa operating room na kayo and would spike up eventually again before closing the patient. Now, what motivates him? Let's not be hypocrites and be practical here. The compensation and the extra day offs after an on-call shift are two of the major things that motivate me. Since for operating nurse, no, you do have what they call as roof beride shafts deans. So, kumbaga naka on-call ka lang. So, my extra zulag ka man, na matatanggap, which is very, very motivating. <laughs> Based sa mga nakausap ko na is working sa OP, 
Um, I did create a vlog about how to increase your salary as a nurse, no? So I did um, talk about there yung mga sulag, sushlag, etc. I'll go ahead and provide you again the link here para matignan mo din siya, girl. Now, tips for other Filipinos. He mentioned, it motivates me to think that I'm blessed enough to have the opportunity to work to where I am right now. I, I love being in the surgery. I pack seeing new surgical techniques and new surgical discoveries firsthand is really mind-boggling especially sa hospital kung saan siya nag work no they really do lots of research etc so that's what he is mentioning about mga new surgical techniques Te new surgical techniques na tinatry dito din sa hospital na to where he is working nag start na din sila ng robotics <laughs> ang cute no yung robot na yung nag operate wow One. This is from Kai. She's working in major heart surgeries, yung mga may monitoring. Step down unit siya from surgical ICU. So, main of gabi would be heart monitoring, uh, and then yung mga wound and drainage care. My mga patients na may mga chest tube, may mga drainage, mga redon, etc. Medication, administration. <laughs> Nako combine ko si Deutsch at si English. ECG and again admission and discharge ng patient. Health teaching syempre kailangan din. Mobilisasyon, higiene, tapos isolasyon. What a toxic day looks like for her, no? Yung non-stop admission and discharge. Lalo na pag unterbesets nga kayo, tapos hindi magkanda mayo na ang dami pa ding admission, etc. Ay nako. Mga unstable patients, especially after OP. So may mga patients na may mga arrhythmia, may mga heart block, may mga nibinvir kung payo ng mga medikamente kasi um, nagbigay ng narcotics, nagbigay ng sedative, etc. Um, and also, may mga biglang bedside procedure like halimbawa mga chest tube insertion tapos mga trans in or out sa ibang unit. So, hi, naka stress nga naman yan. And then, also mga nibinvir kung after operation, syempre, andyan yung blutong, andyan yung stroke, etc. So, kailangan mo din yan i-biobact din. And of course, code or renemation kasi nga, it's um, heart surgery, no? So, medyo madugo. And it's a special area, really. Why you like your work or what motivates you? Lagi, laging may bagong matutunan. Tips or message for other Filipinos? Find your passion. Know your worth. Makibagay and coexist sa ibang lahi in each group. Do not be afraid na kahit mag-isa ka sa station na yon na Filipino girl. Try mo pa din. Compromise and mutual respect. Kasi sa kanila naman dito, if hindi mo alam, halimbawa, yung isang bagay, no, it's better na you ask if you are in doubt rather na magkamali ka or madehado yung pasyente. Hindi ko naman papahiin yan na, ay, akala ko ba nurse ka? Bakit hindi mo yan alam? No, kasi ano naman sila dito, um, Aware naman sila sa fact na pag wala ka pa ng ganong experience at ganitong station, malamang newbie ka or malamang beginner ka. So, it's better to ask questions rather na magkamali tayo or may mali tayong magawa. Especially, buhay nga yung hinahandle natin. Let me share... Um, so she had been doing einsatz at different einrichtung, different stations, but I did ask her to share her experience as a psychiatric ward. So her main of gabe. Um, same again, sa station, no? You have to do gishprik sa mga pasyente, kumustahin mo sila, mayroon ba silang beshverde, mayroon ba simptome, mayroon ba na magsuicide kasi nasa psychiatric ward ka. And also, um, they do mga ubergabe sa mga therapeut and since if you are in a psychiatric ward, yung mga patients would have like kinds of different kinds of therapy halimbawa cognitive behavioral therapy we also shared na nagbo blood and namin sila tapos urine tapos syempre pag may mga off namin discharge nurse din yung gumagawa noon now let's share asa na yun okay so what's a toxic day looks like for you again if unter besets or my unforgisehen un for her gesehen not fall <laughs> un 
for her gisihin notfall. Kasi um, sa hospital, no, pag may notfall, talagang magkiklingal yan sa buong station. So, kailangan mong tumakbo kung nasaan man yan para mag-help ka dun sa notfall na yun. Why you like your work or what motivates you? Um, sabi niya, if masisipag yung kasama ko, especially, if masisipag yung kasama ko sa duty, especially if may Pinay. <laughs> <laughs> Kasi nga naman, light ang work, di ba? Pag may kasama kang Pilipino. Although, ang nagtayla naman, pag madami kayong Pilipino, baka hindi na kayo girl mag Deutsch. Pero syempre, yung steam mong, yung mood, iba pag Pilipina yung kasama mo. And of course, yung sahod, sabi niya. Um, tips or message for other Filipinos? Positive vibes always. Smile lang and enjoy yung work. Kasi, ginusto mo yan. <laughs> ginusto natin mahirapan sa Deutsch. <laughs> My God. Alright, let's proceed to the next. Um, I'll share from Anne Camille. So, Anne is working in Urologi Station. So, she is an Urologi Krankenschwester. She forgot to send you off gabi, but based on sa mga kwento niya, nagbublut and nami din sila. BE is the abkortsung. And then, naksorge ng pasyente after ng operation and also forberaitong ng pasyente before ng operation. For naksorge ng pasyente, syempre kailangan niya ng mga schmerz, medikamente, ng infusion, etc. What a toxic day for me is kapag unterbisets kami. Again, lahat naman, worldwide na ata yung personal mangal ng nurses, no? Madali lang actually sa station namin kasi focus lang sa isang disease. That's true. Compared halimbawa pag nasa inire ka na ang daming different types of diseases na kailangan mo din maging familiar, um, sa kanila, after 4 to 5 days, discharge na yung patient. Pero pag dalawa lang kayo, tapos mag-handle kayo ng 24 patients, plus pa yung may mga complications, wala na tong upuan sa whole shift na to. I also want you to know, halimbawa, gusto mo palang mag hospitation or nagtitingin-tingin ka palang kung saan station mo gustong mag-work, go ahead and check din kung unterbisets ba sila or hindi, ilan din ba yung nursing patient ratio, kasi magkakaiba-iba. Um... What motivates me? I really like my station kasi may enough time ka para magbigay ng quality care. Mm -hmm. It's very important kasi syempre gusto mo i-enlighten si pasyente to his own recovery. Kapag okay yung stuffing, syempre maganda yung mood mo at nafe-feel mo na na-appreciate ka din ng patients. Ang sarap ng feeling na kapag ma-discharge na sila, may pa-letter sila sa'yo, may pa-thank you at matatandaan nila yung name mo. O diba? <laughs> Kahit hirap sa Deutsch. Same with Anne, I also felt that way when I started working as a nurse, no? Iba yung feeling talagang fulfilling yung pakiramdam and parang may sense of achievement ka kasi nakatulong ka sa isang tao. Um, tips for other Filipinos, mag-explore ka and hanap ka ng station na tumbok yung puso mo sa hospitasyon pa lang. So really, if you do your hospitasyon, mag-observe ka girl para makita mo if para ba sa yung station na yun, giagnet ba sa'yo or hindi. Yung masasabi mo na okay ako dito, dito ako belong. Mararamdaman mo din yan sa environment kung mabigat ba, kahit stressful, kaya ko kaya. Those are the questions I think na we really have to ask ourselves. Mahira pero madami akong matutunan dito. Pinaka-importante sa lahat yung decision mo at kung ano yung gusto mong gawin at matutunan pa. And yung uuwi ka din sa bahay na magaan yung pakiramdam mo at masaya ka. Ay, very good, very fulfilling nurse ang pakiramdam nito ha. Gastro. I ask Elaine, she's working in a site arbite firma. Site arbite is different from yung talagang nasa isang Einrich tong ka, sa isang facility ka. I, I did create another vlog about it, so here's a link para mas uh, magets mo kung ano yung sinasabi ko about site arbite. It's more on parang nasa pole kayo, no? Halimbawa, my personal mangal sa ganitong station or sa ganitong facility, ganitong hospital, that hospital would contact this particular firma or agency and then meron sila ng poll ng nurses. 
Paul, meron sila ng pool of nurses na pwedeng mag-work um, dun sa particular station na yun. So, pwede kayong mag-rotate kung saan na ngailangan ng personal dun ka mapupunta. So, she, here's what she shared. Current assignment, she is in gastrology, main of Gapi bedside care. Bedside care for station are just almost the same. So, halimbawa, mag-rundgang ka niya, no? Kakausapin mo yung patient, kumusta ka po today, may bisverde ka pa po, may symptom ka pa po, etc. And then you have to carry out yung orders ng doktor. Usually naman yung mga doktor nag-rounds yan or nag-visit talaga ng morning. So if may mga kailangang test or additional medikamente na ibibigay, so ikaw yung magdudurse few rin ng ganong mga for or no. Um, you also have to provide yung medikamente, etc. If yung patient halimbawa matanda na, kailangan ng help sa corporate flag, although it's a station or it's in the hospital, hindi sa Altenheim, still you have to um, help them. Preparation din for untersu kung halimbawa kailangan ng gastroscopy, colonoscopy, etc. Then you have to prepare the patient. Now, here's what she said. What's a toxic day looks like for her? Venish Alayne Fakraf of Station. <laughs> pag unter besets nga naman talaga sobrang sobrang nakakapagod that's a toxic day for all nurses dito sa Germany how they feel or the guns align in the knock of the by the station and usually pag sa station no, align ka talaga pag knock or pag night shift depende din siguro sa number ng patients for me for example sa ortho dati I have mga around 20 patients kanyan so mag isa din ako sa night shift why you like your work or what motivates you? So here's what she shared. I like working in a site or by firma or manning agency because of its flexibility. Meaning, pwede kasi siyang mag-request kung ano yung particular shift na gusto niya. Halimbawa, gusto niya lang ng fruit dins. Halimbawa, gusto niya lang ng spade dins. Gusto niya lang ng knock dins. Siya yung may hawak ng oras niya. Very good. Um, I also get more freedom when it comes to work schedules and vacation. Working in different stations, different institutions every now and then can get really stressful, especially pag umpisa na and wala ka ng masyadong um, experience. Talaga namang mahihirapan ka sa umpisa. But it gets more easier. Kasi nga, it's a skill. Nursing is a skill. The more that we are exposed sa mga ganitong routines, sa mga ganitong skills, mas narututo tayo at mas madaling mag-adjust. And of course, less drama and less conflict with problematic colleagues. Siyempre, hindi naman kasi talaga natin mapipili yung mga colleagues na makasama natin, no? So... You know, if you don't want to be stuck in a particular team, then site arbite fear may also be for you kasi pwede kang mapunta sa iba't ibang teams. The Filipinos that I know that are working sa site arbite agency, no, are usually provided with driving license. Halimbawa, kailangan nila magkaroon ng fear ng shine. It would range now around 3,000 to 5,000 euro. <laughs> Napakamahal. So either the site or by the firma would um, take care of that financial support to you or halimbawa kung my driving license ka na or ikaw yung gustong mag uh, first org nun sa sarili mo then they can go ahead and provide you as well. Koche. Tare, may, may pa koche. Ganun, girl. As a single individual, the biggest thing that motivates me to work is actually the earnings. I want to stay financially capable kasi magastos ako. I like traveling and shopping online. <laughs> Kasi, especially if you are here in Germany, no, we have Schengen visa, so madali mag-travel to other EU countries. Siyempre, kailangan mo ng funds. Kasi, although, halimbawa, yung ticket would be less than 100 euro, siyempre, you wanted to enjoy. Hindi yung um, kapit na kapit ka sa pera or kapit na kapit ka sa budget. Para full experience talaga yung ma-enjoy mo dito. Now, tips for other Filipinos. Working abroad might not be for everyone. True. It is not easy living alone in a foreign country and away from your family. And so always put yourself first before others because no one's gonna back you up when the going gets rough. And also prioritize your mental health. I shared this in my previous vlog about depression when working abroad. Kasi nga, magkakaiba-iba naman tayo ng experience. Magkaiba-iba din yung paghandle natin ng stress. The most common problem pag nag-work abroad na would be homesickness and social isolation. Kasi nga, maliit lang yung support system. I'm also promoting that too. We have to prioritize our mental health.
Uh, tips for other Filipinos. I'll go ahead and create another vlog about it. I wanted to share yung tips na pwede kong ishare. If you're interested na magwork sa hospital, ano ba yung interview process, ano ba yung mga pwede mong negotiate ano ba yung mga kailangan mong ibiobaktan, etc. So that you would have a smooth transition from one facility to another and alam mo kung ano yung mga kailangan mong sabihin. So there you go. Thank you so much. I think mahaba yung vlog na to, but I really hope it would help you in giving you that kind of overblick or overview so that you would be able to decide kung saan bang facility or saan bang station ka pwede mag-work as a Filipino nurse dito sa Germany. So thank you so much for being with me today. Try lang tayo, girl lang try kasi kaya natin yan. I'm sending you good vibes your way. This has been Odyssey and I'll hope I'll see you on the next.